Welcome back to Simply Southern and this edition of Rural Roundup. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recently released data collected in its 2022 Census of Agriculture. The statistics show the reality for farming. Times are tough. Since the previous census in 2017, the state of Alabama has lost 8% of its farms. It's a similar story across the nation, which reported a 7% decline in the number of farms. This change can be attributed to high input costs, low profit margins, and farm consolidation. From 2017 to 2022, the cost of feed had increased 57%, while farmers were also paying 32% more for farm labor, as well as gasoline, oil, and other fuels. Additionally, costs for fertilizer and lime increased by 31%. These statistics highlight the need for an updated farm bill. Congress must approve farm bill legislation every five years. In 2023, Congress approved a one-year extension, but farmers across the country have encouraged the legislative body to make the farm bill a greater priority this year. There were some positive highlights based on the Census of Agriculture data. More Alabama farmers are opting to use improved conservation practices like no-till, reduced tillage, and cover crops. Plus, there was a 20% increase in the number of irrigated acres in the state. Agritourism was another highlight. Income from agritourism was up 45%, and that's thanks in part to an increase in consumers who are interested in purchasing goods directly from farmers. If you're that kind of shopper, be sure to visit SweetGrownAlabama.org to find ways you can support farmers near you. Other statistics showed that the average age of an Alabama farmer is 58.7 and that 34.7% of Alabama farmers are female. To see more about the Census of Agriculture, visit alphafarmers.org and click on the News tab. As part of this segment, we love that we get to highlight Alabama farmers and those who support our state's agricultural industry. So we have a new roundup of agricultural accolades for you, starting with Atauga County's Andy Winland. He operates Ataga Farming Company in Atagaville with his family, including son Drew, who y'all met in our earlier story about the 4R fertilizer program. Andy was recently named Southeast Award winner for the 2024 High Cotton Award, presented by Farm Press and the Cotton Foundation. It's a distinguished honor that few in the state have earned before. Congratulations to Andy and the entire Winland family. Now we'll swap over to our friends at Auburn University and Alabama Cooperative Extension System. AU College of Agriculture Dean Paul Patterson was recently honored with Southern Agricultural Economics Association's Lifetime Achievement Award. This honor recognizes significant contributions to Southern agricultural economics. Plus, Alabama Extension cotton agronomist Steve Brown was named the 2024 Cotton Researcher of the Year at the annual Conservation Systems Cotton and Rice Conference in Arkansas. He may look familiar to our dedicated viewers as he's been part of a previous Discover Extension segment right here on Simply Southern. Stacy Little is up next, and if you think sweet potatoes are only for Thanksgiving, you're gonna be surprised. The Southern Bite Chef is making sweet potato cookies when Simply Southern continues. It's no secret that poultry farming is big business in Alabama. With more than 10,000 houses in operation, more than 20 million birds are being produced each week. So how do farmers stay on top of their game in this $15 billion industry? Join us as we discover Alabama extension and a high-tech approach to keeping commercial flocks thriving. The National Poultry Technology Center at Auburn University is the only facility in the country dedicated to the continuous education and training of the poultry industry. The National Poultry Technology Center is a place like no other. Since opening its doors in 2017, the center has hosted more than 56 formal hands-on demonstration seminars for more than 3,400 attendees. So the farmers really like our center because we work really hard to um, take complex management decisions or learning topics and make them simple to learn and making them actionable for their farms. While the poultry industry in our state is thriving, it's not without its challenges. The NPTC partners with universities and research organizations worldwide to identify feasible solutions for complex problems facing the growers. They're not above our growers' heads. They talk with common sense and it's able to help our producers. But we can bring producers here to this facility and they spend about five to six hours here and they can learn more here in that one day than I could in 
10 different grower meetings out there. What makes the NPTC special is we're customer service driven. Uh, to the Alabama poultry farmer and the, uh, the poultry companies in Alabama, they're our customers. Almost everything we do is hands-on, so anybody can come in, no matter what language you speak or what technical level uh, of competence you are on a piece of equipment. You can come, you can practice, and you can learn something new and take it out in the field tomorrow and use it. Get connected to the latest commercial poultry research by visiting aces.edu. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you with a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. Not littering is not hard. If you've accumulated trash in your vehicle, don't throw it out the window. Throw it in a can at the gas pump. Throw it in a can at a storefront. Throw it in a can at work. Or throw it in the can at home. Just don't drop it on Alabama. Not littering is not hard. Brought to you by People Against a Littered State, the Alabama Department of Transportation, the Alabama Broadcasters Association, and this station. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweetcorn Alabama, we just saw it as such an amazing platform to be able to market for farmers and small Alabama businesses. Being a niche producer, a commercial mushroom laboratory, um, it's very important that we kind of get the word out about who we are and Sweet Grown has been monumental in helping us do that. I think just support your local community, your neighbor. That's the backbone. Discover what's growing in your neck of the woods at sweetgrownalabama.org. <laughs> 